Hello, my dearest Daniela here, and welcome to another episode of the Spa Marketing Made Easy podcast. This episode is brought to you by Addo Aesthetics, the number one coaching company for spa industry professionals wanting to step into the role of spa CEO. And we've got a really fun episode for you today. Now, a while back, we did a show where we were walking you through a strategy where you're using Facebook groups to get new clients. And what you're doing is offering them trainings at a discounted rate and creating some scarcity around those trainings. So we've got that episode linked up below here. If you want to listen to that, it might be helpful in understanding a little bit more of what Maria was doing. But Maria, who is a longtime listener of ours and definitely an action taker, decided that she was going to test this out after listening to that episode. And her results were absolutely mind-blowing. So Maria Ramos is the esthetician. That's who we're interviewing today. She's going to walk you through exactly what she did with the strategy, how she modified it and made it way better. I'm so excited for you to hear what is possible when you take action. All right. So let me tell you a little bit more about Maria and then we'll jump right into that interview. So Maria is a licensed esthetician and successful entrepreneur of seven years. Maximum financial success through expertise and business acumen is what she hopes for herself and the estheticians in her Facebook group. Her desire to be of service to her fellow estheticians led her to create the Money Making Esthetician Facebook group, and it now has 76,800 members. And probably by the time that you guys are listening to this now, many more than that. Maria is very passionate about skincare and equally passionate about providing other entrepreneurial estheticians with the resources they need to make their businesses profitable. So she's really showing up in a big way for our industry, helping our industry elevate to the next level. So I'm so excited to have her on and so excited for you to hear what she accomplished using this strategy. Let's go ahead and play that interview. All right, Maria, welcome to the Spa Marketing Made Easy podcast. It's so fun. I'm so excited to have you on the show to talk about, it feels kind of like a full circle moment. Because moment. <laughs> yeah, because we're going to talk about the incredible like next level success that you had with one of these strategies. And I, I give you credit for taking <laughs> it to the next level, this strategy that we shared on how to get new clients through Facebook groups. You just like knocked it out of the park with this one. You took it to a whole, whole new level. So now to be on the show, <laughs> to, oh my God. yeah, <laughs> to talk about the strategy that you learned from the show, it feels really cool. <laughs> it was really cool. Actually, it was, so I listened to your podcast, Laura, so it was how to market. And I literally followed exactly what you said. You gave us, you're like, okay, this is what you're supposed to say. Hi, my name is Maria. I'm a local spa owner. In training, I'm offering it at 70% off. Please send me a DM if you're interested. So I went, I copied, I pasted, put it in all these Facebook groups, and I was bombarded with so many people that I couldn't keep up. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, how can I do this to where I look? Because I was like DMing them back, like, give me 24 hours to reply to you because I was so busy. So I was like, how can I switch this to where I look more professional? Um, so I, I added Google ads so I can call one by one and then get them on the books. You did um, a Google form, right? You Google made it. Form. Yeah. You made a Google form and said, submit your information here. Yes. And I think how many did you end up getting when you switched it to the Google form? I got like two, it was 249. 249 people. 249 people. How many of those people actually booked? Uh, almost all of them. <laughs> And so, and do you know, have you kept track of like how many people were actually that you retained? So, uh, so it's funny because getting them, it's kind of like, it was like a group on thing, right? So they came in and most of them all retained, but even if they only came in for the first time, everybody left with either a full kit of product or at least one product. So they came in for the half off. And then they rescheduled for four weeks, but obviously some people will fall off, fall in because they're coming in from far. Um, but everybody at least leaves with the product. So now my email list is at like 700 people. Just That's clients. Great. That's crazy. Yeah. And tell us what city you're in for those listening. I'm in Studio City, California. Okay. So okay. a densely populated area, but still like give us a little background on the business this on your spa 
and where you were kind of at, like in, have you been open for one year, two years? Like, tell us the kind of background of your spa when you went into this strategy. So I actually signed my lease COVID of February of 2020, and then we shut down. So when I was reopening at this point, I was hiring another esthetician and I was like, I know I heard the podcast and every podcast you have, I'm like execute right after the podcast is done. Good. Action taker. <laughs> so, love it. <laughs> yeah. So I hear it and I was like, okay, well, I need to get my girls busy. And I'm not going to lie at this point, I'm kind of a pretty big risk taker. So I like hire girls with no clients and I'm like, oh, I'll figure it out. So luckily your, uh, your podcast came on. I was like, perfect. This is a great way to get my girls busy. So I put it on, I put it out there in all these different outlets and avenues. And the first time I was so bombarded with people, I was teaching them Brazilian waxing, um, that I was like, I need to do this more efficiently because I don't have time. So now I like, anytime I see it kind of slowing down, I'll post this in different groups throughout the month and I use it as fillers. So specifically Mm -hmm. for tomorrow, I hired a new girl and I had a couple of my regular clients cancel. So I'll pop back into this list and then I'm like, Hey, do you remember you filled up for this, um, to be one of our models. And then that tomorrow I have like seven. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so you're wonderful. And how many, tell me how many people you have on your team right now? As of right now, two. Okay. And so you and two other providers or you and one other provider? Two other providers. Okay. And so you're hiring these gals out of school, no experience, no clientele and getting them full. Do you know what their booking percentage is? At the moment, no, I do not. Because so what happened was um, I originally switched locations. So when I switched locations, some girls like fell off. So I'm basically starting from scratch again. So Mm -hmm. it's like, which is okay. So for the past like month, I've been um, training a new girl just because one of them had a child. The other one went back to massage therapy school, which it happens. Mm -hmm. But I love this strategy because I think that when people come in knowing it's a training, I could actually treat it like a training versus like a client. Mm-hmm. So I'm able to be like, how does this feel? How does this feel? And the client one gets to see my skill level. And so they're mm-hmm. like, wow, like, I want to book with her because um, I have more skill than the new one. Or they get to feel with the new girl. They're like, oh, I really like her. And then I could also teach her how to sell retail, like mm-hmm. how to you know skin analyze. And it's less awkward than having like a client, th- of my consistent client. And you're also, you know, there's so much power in actually doing I talk a lot about like when in the onboarding process, there's onboarding of like needing to understand the software and the policies and all this kind of mental stuff that we're learning. But when you're learning technique, it's a mind body connection, right? It's not, you can't just read from a book and know how to do a Brazilian wax. You've got to actually do it. And the more you do it, the better you get. So using this strategy, I'm sure it also gives your providers a lot more confidence than just saying like, oh man, we're starting right at the beginning, you know, or like, what if I mess this up? What if I, and just like having them full and continuing to work and continuing to learn, I feel like it's so good for confidence and just overall morale of a company. For sure. Not just confidence, but I also feel like getting talent and keeping talent is also kind of an art in its own way. Mm -hmm. So in this strategy for me, I mean, if you meet the estheticians, they're rock stars and they're ready to like hit the ground running. So me actually saying, Hey, I'm going to train you. This is the way we're going to do it. Like Brazilian waxing, for example, there's ways that you hold your body and hold your like upper arm that you didn't even know you were doing. And so when you're teaching them, you can see how quick the turnaround is. So then they come back the next day, ready and eager to learn versus Mm -hmm. like bored and just sitting there. Were there any other, um, any other little tweaks that you made to this strategy that you felt like, cause what we gave on the podcast and we'll link it up below, but we talked about using the Facebook strategy, creating scarcity posting, but just using the DMS, you added the Google form, which was brilliant. Um, you're using it as a wait list also brilliant to be able to kind of fill those gaps. Any other little tweaks or things that you have used it for that you felt like were beneficial? 
So two things. I also added like, what were they interested in? So it was signature facial is what we had said. Um, I added dermaplaning and Brazilian waxing and lash lifts. And they were actually able to tell me what they were interested in. So uh, when I knew that one of the girls needed to be trained in lash lifts, I would go back and find all the lash lift clients. And so then that, I like that because we would do one day before we do a training and then the next day she actually has like seven hands on. Yes. Yeah. So great. And what advice would you give to estheticians that are worried about discounting their services or, you know, that's a big, it's a big thing is like, well, I don't want to be constantly discounting, but do you feel that there's a difference between this is a training service that I'm discounting and like just discounting for the sake of discounting? Yes, actually. So it's two things. Um, I feel like one, it's an irresistible offer. So it makes the person who's actually um, being the client coming in, they have nothing to lose because it's really cheap, right? And they're like, oh, this is such a great price. Why would I, it's like a no brainer. Um, but then also working, working it to your advantage. So when somebody comes in, um, I have like kits. So I make sure that when they come in, I have full retail because what I heard from you is if everybody leaves with two products, they're most likely to be your client forever. Mm-hmm. But really, I block off the time to even, even though I'm only getting paid the $75, I block off the time and make it like they are paying me $300 for that hour. So I take the time and really connect with that client. And then they leave with a full kit. So they paid my, it's $225 for a full kit. So they pay that, which my take home is $100 plus the $75 plus mm-hmm. they book in four weeks. My girl got trained on retail rebooking and the treatment. And then, then they're like, Hey, can I bring my mom? Mm-hmm. And I'm, I just got a referral. So it's really the way you work it. And I tell my, my girl that I'm training, like, this needs to be the best facial she's ever had in her life. Yes. So- I, I think that's so, so important. Oftentimes, um, if you are doing a Groupon or a discounted service or something like that, there's this mindset of like, oh, well, they're, it's so discounted, you know, you, they get treated differently. And it's really like, you want to love on those, you want to love on all of your people. You want everybody that comes through your door and receives a service to feel like a VIP, whether they're paying full price or whether they're getting it totally discounted, because that is the the experience, the way that you make them feel is what they're going to remember. I also work on reviews. So even if like I'm really my goal for this year, I just listened to your last one, are we scaling or maintaining? And I want to scale. So I'm really working on reviews to get at the top of Google specifically with me. So say we're doing the Brazilian, I charge probably $75, which is more than European wax center. But if we see like a little bit of their happy trail, like just get it for them, give them that full service where they feel like they're VIP and the bed is warm. The room smells good. We do like paraffin massages and they're like, oh my God. So you can go somewhere else cheaper, but you're always going to remember us and you're going to come back. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing that. Can you tell us a little bit about your Facebook group, kind of shifting gears here, because you are also kind of Facebook famous. You host a group. Tell us about it. So I host a group called the Money Making Esthetician, Mm -hmm. which I was also, I post your stuff all the time because you're so inspirational. So it's really finding that gap between the girls who just came out of school, who are, there's all this in between, and then, you know, the rock stars. And so I really like to fill in the gap. So for example, I posted this strategy and because everybody's like, a lot of girls come out of school, they sign their leases and they're like, but I have no clients. What classes do I take? What skincare lines do I take? So all these questions are being answered specifically in this group Mm -hmm. from all these uh, wonderful you know, experts in the industry. And now coming into this new year, I've reached out to a ton of um, like people who have been in the industry for a long time. Like in two weeks, um, Douglas is coming in to teach us for his extractions. Oh, Another cool. one. Yeah, so exciting. I, um, I'm in the works with some other people coming in. So every Tuesday I want to like kind of really get those questions, those answers and like motivate people, um, estheticians specifically, because entrepreneurship is like a whole mindset and a lifestyle. But I created that. <laughs> is what? What was the last part? 
I, so that's why I created the group was to like. Yeah, and it's. I think it's so important in entrepreneurship and and in our industry in general is to have a place for community where you can ask questions, where you can feel supported, where you can get education, um, all of these types of things. It's it's really, you know, we all need to do our part to elevate the industry as a whole. And that's a that's a great resource. So we'll link up your Facebook group below this episode as well. Um, anything else that you wanna to add to make this episode feel complete for you? Uh, no, not really. Honestly, thank you for all the expertise you've given us i am obsessed with your podcast i have built my business around everything right so oh thank you so much i'm so glad so happy to help all right guys check out the money making esthetician on facebook we've got the link below and try this strategy with maria's improvements for sure she definitely took it to the next level test it out and let me know how this works for you all right we'll catch you on the next episode